Google AdWords Tutorial 2016 How to use Display Planner tool Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to introduce you to Display Planner. On Rankia YouTube channel, I have created some video tutorials about Google AdWords, how to set up your campaigns, as well as how to use Google Keyword Planner tool. But I have not created a video session for using Display Planner. Now at this stage, when you're beginning to use Google AdWords, you may say, well, Keyword Planner and Display Planner. What's the difference? The difference is, Keyword Planner tool will allow you to find keywords more quickly for Google search platform. Because Google has many partner sites. YouTube is part of Google. Google Maps is part of Google. And there are many others as well. As well as there are thousands of different websites participating in programs like Google AdSense. Now, all those websites participating with Google AdSense is part of Google Network. So therefore, when you think of Display Planner, think of Display Network. Let me demonstrate what that is as well. Let's imagine this particular website is related to my industry. And I am more than certain you'll find many different websites related to your online industry. And let's imagine that I'd like to advertise image ads or text ads on different websites that are part of Google Display Network. As you can see, that's an ad. And that's also an ad. And as I hover, you'll see the down the bottom, you'll see the URL change. And it says Google Ads .g double click net. So that is part of Google Network. Now we can look at this particular screen and see that YouTube also provides ads here. Furthermore, sometimes when you browse YouTube, you'll end up seeing these ads. As you can see, it says ad there. Or we've got ads on the side here, it says advertisement. And let's imagine Google Maps. That's part of Google as well. Now that is Google search partner. Partner of Google. Partner of Google. And you can see Macros down the street of where I live is advertising through Google Maps as well. So when you think of Google Display Network, think of thousands and thousands of different websites that are part of Google Network. Then our Display Planner tool will allow us to research into that network. As you can see, it says find top placement. When you hear the term placement, think of different websites whereby you can place your ads. So now you can say, okay, my campaign targeting is my country. For you, you surely change it accordingly. You can easily remove your location and say, OK, I'm based in USA. Then select that country and give me top placement ideas by location. Let's get some placement ideas. Now, the Display Planner tool is going to show you all the different websites that you can advertise on. You can see you can advertise on YouTube. The ad formats is different ad formats, image ad, text ad, video ad, and all that stuff. Relevance, you can read more about that. Historical cost per click. Display Planner tool is saying from zero dollar to dollar um, fifty Australian dollars is the historical cost per click people have paid when advertising on that website. Think of it as website or 
YouTube doesn't matter because you can see you can advertise on Spotify let's say you have related product that you just want to advertise there you can see what they expect the cookies the impressions per week 500 million to 1 billion impressions per week that's a lot of impressions make sense impressions are when someone searches or lands on that page and your ad shows if they don't click or click that's called an impression you can look at certain keywords while here as well your search return no keywords no problems we can look at interests based on top placements enter user interests manually you can select a different category and simply browse through according to your products and services we can drill down into topics enter topics manually let's do that we can say okay i have seo courses can you find some categories accordingly it may it may not if it doesn't then you can browse into it and further drill down for your targeting objectives okay placements as i've said is where you can place your ads demographics age parent not parent all that stuff so you can look at that and say okay i want to advertise to parents only and select that and analyze things further on the right hand side so display planner is a tool for you to analyze where you can advertise on the display network i know it has many different things to to browse through like ad formats different sizes of ads you can advertise but nonetheless these are important particularly when you want to advertise on display network now while we're here remarketing as you can see i have some remarketing lists here i'll show you the easiest way for you to tap into remarketing as well let's say this is my website i have some premium courses and i have google analytics installed on this website so i log in to my google analytics account find the admin menu option go to first of all you link adwords to analytics because it's only smart and then we press on tracking info data collection here you'll have that turned off so you need to turn it on but before you turn it on you need to read through the policies of google adwords and analytics because you need to make some adjustments as far as informing your website visitors about the cookies or interest based advertising that you're participating in these policies are absolutely critical because google may check that so therefore you must have these you know thoroughly read agreed if you want and then make adjustments before you enable that but once you do then you can say okay you know what i want to tap into the display network because it offers you that powerful um, um, advertising opportunity then i just want to utilize my remarketing then let's go back to campaigns so at the end of the day that's how you utilize the display planner then go to your shared library here you will have audiences you can press on view to see the audiences that you have and you can create remarketing lists you can press on it press on that and say okay website visitors i want to remarket that means they visited my website and they left but then i want to remarket to them if you've got a youtube channel remarketing youtube users you can do that as well mobile apps customer emails you can remarket so that's very powerful for Google AdWords and you should utilize it while we're here let's go back to Google Analytics and I'll just show you audience definition 
Here you can press on audiences and create new audience by pressing on that. Destination account is your link Google AdWords account and simply create your remarketing lists. You can surely read more by pressing on learn more option. At the end of the day, the display planner tool is for you to utilize to advertise to Google network, which is made up of hundreds of thousands of different websites, giving your products and services very powerful advertising opportunity using Google AdWords. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give me a like and share this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.